Okay, this video is about finding and classifying critical points given your derivative in the form of a table. So notice what we have here is we are given many values of t, the independent variable, and many values, the corresponding values, of the derivative of some function f. Notice this is not f, this is f prime. All right. So when the question is, the exercise is where approximately does f have local maxima and minima? So in other words, we are essentially trying to find and classify the critical points of f given the values of its derivative on a table. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to try and see what information we can ex extract about f from these values of its derivative. And the first thing I notice is that from 0, in between 0 and 2, the values of the derivative are all positive, 12, 10, and 4. And so this corresponds to f being increasing. Remember, the derivative is positive if and only if f is increasing. So what I'll write here is that f, and in between here and here, this corresponding to this area on the table, f is increasing to note that with that arrow. And similarly, at 3, 4, and 5, the derivative of f is negative, and so in that area, f is decreasing. And similarly, again, from 6 all the way to 10, we have f increasing. Now, what does this tell us about critical points? Well, notice this says approximately, and since we only have the values of the derivative at a few numbers, we can't find exactly where the critical points are because we don't, we don't know where the derivative equals zero. That's what a critical point is, is when the derivative equals zero. So we just have to do our best guess. And our best guess is that we have a critical point that the derivative equals zero somewhere in here. So somewhere in between t equals two and t equals three, the derivative goes from four to negative two. So what we assume is that somewhere in here, f prime equals zero. So in other words, we have uh, f has then a critical point uh, between t equals two and three. And that's the best we can say. We really don't have a good idea of where the critical point is in between these two numbers. Um, the second thing we want to do is well is we want to say what kind of critical point it is. And we can see that to the left of wherever this critical point is, in between two and three somewhere, f is increasing, and to the right it's decreasing. So it's sort of shaped like this ish if you can follow the cursor and so this must be a local max so this critical point wherever exactly it might be is going to correspond to a local maximum all right and now we have one more similarly where the derivative is negative here at 3 4 and 5 it's negative 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 and then it switches to positive and stays positive so we can deduce from this that somewhere in between here, again, f prime equals 0 somewhere in there. And so f has a critical point um, between, oops, between t equals five and t equals six. And we can't say exactly where, we just know that it's probably somewhere in there. And so what kind of critical point is this? Well, if f is decreasing to the left of the critical point and then it turns to increasing, this must be a local min. So a local min. All right, and that concludes this video.